On this video at Doug's Home Arcade showcasing my Phoenix Pinball Machine released by Williams in 1978. This is a game that I've always loved the first minute I saw this. I saw one of these in 1981. There was a Family Fun Center right by my house. There was two of them there. One was at the roller rink and that one was in pretty rough shape. Uh, then there was another one at the main arcade where the miniature golf was and they had a really nice one and I was playing both of those machines but especially the the nicer one and I would just shred on this machine and I got really good at it because I have a lucky seven that I had uh, since 1980 that I got really good at I was pretty young at the time but both the Phoenix and the Lucky Seven, they play very similar in the feel of it. So when I would go down to the arcade and play Phoenix, I would just really shred on it. So I always wanted one of these. Uh, there was one I picked up in the early 90s and it was a really nice one. And I didn't want to get rid of it, but I had to at the time because I couldn't keep it. I didn't have the space for it. So I let it go, and I always kick myself for getting rid of that game. But of all the games I've gotten rid of, that's the one I really regretted the most at the time. And it wasn't until 2017 actually got found one, and that one was pretty uh, kind of beat up, wasn't in the greatest shape. And then the other was this one. Now this one that you're looking at was owned by an operator that had bought these games brand new and there was about uh, 11 or 13 machines some around there that he put in storage and have been sitting there since uh, they were put in back in 1984 and they were not taken out until 2017 that's when I got the machines uh, the other games I got one of them was this 8 ball deluxe uh, check out the video on that and then also um, uh, future spa was another one uh, I only kept three of those machines the Future Spall 8 Ball Deluxe in this Phoenix. I would have kept more, but I just can't do it. I got too many games, obviously. So, this one I did not set up until 2021. So, it sat in storage for a few more years after I got it until I got time to put it all back together and find a home for it. So, now it's in my permanent collection and as you can see it's in really nice shape a lot of these are pretty faded out on the cabinet and this one's in really nice survivor it's all original uh, back glass is in really nice shape it does have a little bit of touch up but overall it's still really nice uh, everything else is all original all the boards displays uh, everything on the play fields original minus the decals for the drop targets and the play field has just a little bit of minor touch up, not too bad. It survived pretty good. But I just love the action on this game. I hadn't played it for a while, and just revisiting this game, I just got hooked immediately again. It's just such a fun game uh, for a 78. It's got really good action, uh, it's, it's very fast for uh, an older game. I love the sounds on it, it's one of my favorite early solid state sounding machines prior to the uh, background um, machines like flash and firepower uh, so this one's no back no background sounds on it but uh, and also this one does not have the, um, the feature lights on the inserts uh, the attract mode on it uh, that's probably the one thing I wish this game had but uh, again it's just a game of the times before they came out with all those other features uh, after Phoenix, but it's still a great game. All right, we're gonna go and pause for a moment and we'll get a game started so you can see in action.